Uh, thank you so much for agreeing to join us uh, in today's uh, interview. I believe you had a safe journey down here. Yes, sir. Uh, to, thank God. Uh, so we are going to go ahead. Uh, can you tell us your name, where you are from, what you do, your marital status, and everything, all information that uh, we need to know about yourself. So can you tell us about yourself? Okay. I am... First of all, I'm honored to be here. Yeah, thank you. I'm Ishao Kuya Udambar know by name. Okay. I'm the first in the family of seven. Seven? Yes. Wow. From the same mother? Yes. Wow. She really tried. To. <laughs> <laughs> she really tried. So how many children do you have now? Okay. I'm the, like I told you before, yeah. I'm the first in the family of okay. seven. Okay. And I'm married okay. to my beautiful wife, okay, wow. Mrs. Wow. Lea wow. Ishaku. Wow, wow. And I'm wow. blessed with a daughter, Ruth Ishaku. Okay. Yes, sir. okay. Yes, sir. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is just the first one. Mm -hmm. Your mother gave birth to seven children. <laughs> so I think you should give birth to 14. Uh -huh. So please start doubling them. Uh -huh. You know, you have to double the number. Yes, you can bless and bet um, 14. Yeah. That was in the era. Uh, <laughs> well, well anyway, so tell us where are you from? Yes, I'm from Portiscom. Okay. The other state that I work in the water. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. What 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 kind of work? What do you do for I mean, a living? I'm a teacher by profession. Wow. Yes. Sir. That's great. Yes. Sir. You teach the Bible or uh, what aspect of teaching school? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so, sir, can you tell us uh, more about your ministry, your music ministry, uh, when it started? I mean, how did you hear the call from the Lord to go into uh, the ministry of music? So, you tell us how your ministry started and some of the challenges that you faced. Or are you are facing in the in the ministry? Yeah. Okay. My music ministry started during my secondary school days. Wow. That was when we were in secondary school. Okay. Used in the fellowship of Christian students. What is, what year is that? Um it was two thousand two when I got to Genesis one. Wow. Yes, two thousand two. Yes, I that was when they gave back to me. <laughs> yes, that was that when was, they gave that to me, okay? Uh, 2002, sir, wow, yes, that was long ago. That was when I went to Genesis 1. Okay. 2002. Mm -hmm. My first day, I was lucky. I, when I get to the FCS, mm -hmm. it was a special number day. Mm -hmm. So when I get there, um, I happened to give my name. I happened to be among the presenters. Yeah. So I gave my name. When I stood up, yeah. They just saw one small boy because I was small then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then they were yeah. just three years. Yeah. Yeah. So when I ministered, when uh, others were ministering, mm. so the place was noisy, people mm. were making noise. But yeah. when I stood up as a small boy, mm. they don't even know me. So when I started singing, the whole place came quiet, became quiet. Wow. So when I'm done, you understand, they started applauding. After then, mm. went and sit down. Wow. And after the fellowship, they told mm. me to wait behind the fellowship officials yeah they asked about me what's my name when did i come to school? yeah I told them yeah, yeah so it, it started during my secondary school okay. and after my secondary school yeah. i then decided to join the church band wow. that's when i graduated 2008 <laughs> wow yes sir wow yes, that's sir. great that's great so yeah. i don't know have you have you released uh, any album yes to the glory of god i was able to release a, an album Okay, just one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, we'll pray for more inspirations Amen. and more songs. Amen. I, I, I want to hear that uh, in the next five years, probably you must have released up to 10 albums. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we'll pray for, for inspirations. We'll pray for songs from, from, from heaven. Songs that will, uh, will really uh, bring healing to the heart of men. Amen. Songs that will really usher men into that realm of worship. Amen. So can you, can you tell us some of the challenges 
that you've faced uh, in the ministry. We've, we've had some discussion with some people, and and they said it, they faced challenges even from their parents. You know, some of some of our parents of Ben, they don't believe in all this music of a teen, this and that, this and that. So can you share with us some of the challenges that you faced? Honestly, there are a lot of challenges. Okay. You know, music ministry. Yeah. And the major ones here in our locality. Yeah. The major one mm. is finance okay. and then environment we are. Yeah. Because the type of environment we are is an environment, you know, where uh, people are mistaking gospel yeah. uh, music or gospel ministry into a business. Mm. So you find it very difficult. You understand the yeah. people. You know how yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So that's the major challenge with the uh, environment. Wow. And uh, the finance too. Mm. It's a great, you know, you have the zeal, you, yeah. you have the inspiration, you have songs, you little bet. Yeah. The money to finance it. Yeah, that's issue. true. That's exactly. true. That's true. These are the major challenges. Yeah. And um, concerning the environmental challenge, mm. if you could recall, uh, is it early last day? Okay. We intend to hold a program. Okay. The three of us with yeah. you, if you could remember. Yeah. You know how we started it, you mm. understand? We have the video call. You know how it yeah. ended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, money is always a challenge. Yeah. Money is always a challenge. When I pray that uh, we have open doors, Amen. you know, there are so many of us, there are so many of you people that uh, desire to be holding programs that will really bring the heart of men together and have this moment of worship. Amen. But because of finance, mm. so well, I don't know if anyone watching us uh, is led by the Spirit to to sponsor any of. Uh, uh, his program, his worship experience, please feel free to do that and the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you and the Lord will bless you. Uh, so, sir, can you tell us um, what is worship to you? I mean, you know, define worship based on your personal experience. What has worship done to you? I mean, yeah, tell us what is worship to you personally? Personally? Mm. Worship to me. Worship to me is paying an allegiance to God. Wow. In other words, uh, worship, I can say worship is total submission mm. to God. Wow. Well, let me say a voluntary submission mm. to God. Mm. Worship uh, shouldn't be just from our lips. Mm. It should be from our innermost self. Mm. Worship, mm. it should be genuine, mm. it should be sincere. Yeah. And yeah. it, worship should be done in spirit and in truth. Hmm. That's what Jesus said. Wow. He said the time is coming yeah. that the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit mm. and in truth. Yeah. So worship shouldn't be just from our lips. Mm. It should come out from our innermost self. Hmm. Yes. Wow. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm receiving inspiration. I don't yes. you think you need to go to Bible school. <laughs> No, you need, you need to be a pastor because, That's wow, the way you've just explained worship now, it's it's hey, powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's powerful. So, yeah. Well, I wish you, I wish you, Amen. I wish you, I wish you all the very best. Amen. I wish you more wisdom. Amen. I wish you understanding. Amen. I wish you all the best Amen, in sir. your in your uh, music life. Amen, I sir. believe that uh, there is a message that every minister of the gospel carry, mm -hmm. and it is a message that the world needs to hear. Mm -hmm. And it is our prayer mm -hmm. that the Lord we really make your sound mm. to make that message that he has deposited in you mm. to be heard worldwide. Amen. Well, before we, we draw it to an end, can mm. you tell us the advice that you can give to young ministers that are coming up? Well, with the challenges that you faced, what helped you to stand firm? I mean, just encourage us me too yes. encourage us and encourage other ministers because i believe the level that you are there are people who wants to get to the level so what encouragement what advice can you give to such uh people um my advice to music ministers mm. um first and foremost i have to you know a music minister mm. is a public figure mm. there are always people outside that are looking up to you yeah Yes, because when you stand singing, mm. there are people that see Christ in you. Mm. So our life, mm. as in we should be very careful in our dealings with people. Mm. That is the way we do our public and private life. Mm. Because uh, there are others that are looking up to us. 
So we should live an, an exemplary life, mm. a life that will be worthy of our calling mm. as gospel ministers. Mm. So we should live an exemplary life. Mm. Yes. Wow. Well, yes. Wow. Well, because yes, um, yes, yeah. In an environment where we are, you mm-hmm. know, people have just story anyhow. Mm-hmm. Because if you are a family people and they say, ah, this also so person number no, mm-hmm. I did this, you understand? Before you know it, yeah. it will circulate the whole yeah. hand. <laughs> so we should be very yeah. careful in our, as as a gospel minister, one need to be very careful in dealings with people. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's that is advice. that is great. Yes. You know, uh, we uh, as music ministers, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I think they have to be very careful. Mm. You know, Moses was a leader mm. and he couldn't enter the promised land mm. all because of his followers. Exactly. The Israelites. Exactly. So I, I believe it is a warning to us mm. to be very careful mm. with our followers. Yes. You will always have challenges from them, mm. they will always complain, yes. they will always talk. But I believe our conviction with the Holy Spirit matters a lot. Exactly. So it doesn't matter what people are saying. Mm. Once your relationship with God and the Holy Spirit is okay, I feel mm. you should just keep doing what you're doing. Mm. You know, the Bible says he who, who who puts his hand on the plow and look back mm. is not fit for the kingdom of God. So as we are putting our hands on the plow of this music ministry mm. that will win souls through music, mm. you know, I, I, I just pray and desire that God will keep giving us this strength. Amen. Not minding really. Yes. No, you know, there are positive criticism exactly. that we ought to listen to, exactly. which will help us it's move true. into next level. It's true. But there are some that are actually negative. They are actually <laughs> discouraging. Yeah, so That's by right. the time you keep listening to such mm. uh, uh, criticism, them, you know they keep bringing you down and then there is no way you mm. you you move forward exactly. but we're trusting the holy spirit we desire that he will give us and give you the grace to keep going and to keep going we want to mm. in some years to come we, just, we want to sit down and look at you in this tv and say wow hey. that's our brother over there you know and then he'll be presenting Amen. us and the holy spirit down there Amen. so we really appreciate you thank you so much for thank you sir agreeing to to join us today uh our regards to your wife Mm. your your parents your friends and everybody Mm. thank you so much for joining us Uh, thank you so much for joining us in today's interview we hope that you will join us again next time as we bring other ministers to have a conversation with them thank you so much and god bless you